this video, we will be solving a problem on chemical equilibrium for the reaction between hydrogen and iodine to produce hydrogen iodide at 448 degrees Celsius in a 0.5 liter container. The number of moles of hydrogen you have is 2 moles and the number of moles of iodine you have is 1 mole. The equilibrium constant for the reaction is given as 50. So with this information, you are expected to calculate the number of moles of hydrogen iodide that is present in the equilibrium mixture in 0.5 liters. The first thing to do would be to determine the concentration. The reason we have to determine the concentration is we are not given the molarity, we are rather given the number of moles of the reactant that we are starting with and the volume of the container. And the equation to determine the concentration is C is equals to N over V where n represents the number of moles of the reactants and, and v represents the volume of the container. In this case, the number of moles of hydrogen is found to be 2 moles and the volume of the container, and the volume of the container is 0 0.5 liters. Therefore, the concentration of hydrogen is 2.0 moles divided by 0 0.5 liters, which is going to be 4m. m represents molarity, which means 4 moles per liter. That is the effective concentration. Similarly, we can find out the concentration of iodine molecules. The number of moles of iodine that you have is 1 mole and the volume is 0.5 liter. Therefore, the concentration of iodine is going to be 1 by 0.5, which is going to be 2m, or we can say we have 2 moles per liter. Now, we have determined the concentrations of hydrogen and iodine, and we can substitute these numbers in the equilibrium concentration table or the ice table. The reactants are represented in the first row. Hydrogen and iodine are the reactants. Hydrogen iodide is the product. The number of moles of the reactants are 4 moles of hydrogen per liter and 2 moles per liter of iodine are present when the reaction starts. And the initial amount of hydrogen iodide is 0. Change in concentration is represented by x. If x moles of hydrogen reacts, it will also need x moles of iodine and that will be the number of moles of hydrogen and iodine that decreases with time. And at the same time, it also forms 2 moles of twice the quantity of hydrogen iodide or 2x moles of hydrogen iodide. The equilibrium concentration means the number of moles of hydrogen that is left at equilibrium or the number of moles of unreacted hydrogen is what we are talking about. And to find out the equilibrium concentration, we have to subtract the concentration or the number of moles of the reactant that has reacted. So in this case, initial concentration minus change in concentration, which is going to be 4m minus x, would be the change in concentration at equilibrium. Similarly, the, concentration, the equilibrium concentration for iodine is going to be 2 minus x. 2 is the initial concentration and x moles have undergone change, therefore what remains would be 2 minus x. And at the same time, it produces twice the quantity of hydrogen iodide or 2x moles of hydrogen iodide. So we have generated the ice table. Next, we will have to calculate the value of x using the equilibrium constant expression and the numbers that are given to us. The equilibrium constant expression for the reaction that is given to us can be written as Kc is equals to Hi the whole square divided by H2 into I2. Substituting the values, the equilibrium constant value is 50 and the equilibrium constant values in the I stable will be 2x for hydrogen iodide, 4 minus x for hydrogen and 2 minus x for iodine. Since the coefficient of hydrogen iodide is 2, it's 2x the whole square divided by 4 minus x into 2 minus x. Now, if you look at this expression, you will find that it is not a perfect square. Therefore, solving this equation to determine the value of x, you will have to use the quadratic equation. So, rearranging and solving for x. 46x squared minus 300x plus 400 can be solved for and we will use this equation x is equals to minus b plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac by 2a to determine 
the value of x. a is 46, b is 300, and c is 400. Substituting these numbers, this is what we will get. x is going to have two values. The first value is x is going to be 4.7, and the second value is going to be 1.9. Now, you already know that we have started with four moles of hydrogen. If you have started with four moles of hydrogen, it's impossible to take away 4.7 moles from it. Or you cannot have 4.7 moles of hydrogen reacting when you only started with four moles. For that reason, the value 4.7 is not acceptable in this reaction. So we will go with the value of x, which is 1.9 moles per liter. Now we will substitute these values in the ice table so that we can get the actual values for the equilibrium concentrations. The initial concentrations are the same. 4 moles, 2 moles is 0. The change in concentration is going to be 1.9, 1.9 and 2x and 2 in times 1.9. The equilibrium concentration would be 4 minus 1.9. 2 minus 1.9 and 2x which is 2 into 1.9. So the value is going to be 2.1 moles of hydrogen will be remaining. 0.1 moles of iodine will be remaining and there will be 3.8 moles of hydrogen iodide in the equilibrium mixture. That is the actual value for the equilibrium concentrations of hydrogen, iodine, and hydrogen iodide. We already know that the volume of the container is only 0.5 liters. We have actually converted the moles to moles per liter to express the value of concentration as moles per liter. Hence, we will have to make a small change in the final calculation. We will have to find out the number of moles that are present in half a liter. Since we already know C is equals to N over V, we can find out the number of moles by multiplying concentration times the volume. Our moles are equal to C times V, and moles are equal to 3.8 M, M represents moles per liter, times 0 0.5 liters, which gives us 1.9 moles of hydrogen iodide, is present at equilibrium in 0 0.5 liters. That is the expected answer. And that's how you determine the concentration of hydrogen iodide in the equilibrium mixture. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.